Noen ganger så går det sånn passelig med pokeren. Noen ganger så har det gått helt fantastisk bra med pokeren, og du har lyst til å feire med de beste for vennene dine. Uansett, det kan ikke være 24 timer med poker. Vi må jo fylle opp sjela og livet med noe annet enn bare poker. Og vi har mannen som kan hjelpe oss med akkurat den biten. Og nå er du advart. This rest of this movie is gonna be in English. Follow me. Phil Baker, my man! That's how you do. How's things? All good? Good. Looking how you? beautiful as always. Oh, look at this dapper gentleman. Yeah, but you're, you, you, you just make it all good. You're so, you're just so hip. It's unreal. If I could be, have just an ounce of your personality, charisma, <laughs> intelligence, charm. It's incredible what 50 euro will get you from you. I, I know, Thank I you so know. Much. Thank you so much. How's things? All good, all good. All, all good. good. So good to see you again. It's great to be back in uh, beautiful Bratislava. Bratislava? Yeah. yeah. Second year. You too. And all these beautiful Norwegian poker players, all oh. your personal best friends. No, so many people have made so many friends over the last decade. It's, it's unbelievable. Because you've been there from day one, the first year in Dublin. First year in Dublin, JP invited me to come along and introduce me to Friday. And then I think for our little, um, little problem we had for a couple of years, I think I've been involved in every single year. And you mean it's the COVID thing? The co I don't know. Like oh, you don't know. COVID. And um, Friday has been so good to ask me to come along. Uh, he asked me to come along last year to help him with the setup being our first year. And this year, he slightly changed what I need to do to be an asset to the, to the event. Because that's my key question. When you finish playing poker, when the day is over, or if you've been knocked out early, or if you're a bit down, or if you're really high after a great day at the poker table, where do we go? What do we do? This, this is what we've discussed, and um, we sat down after the event last year, and Florey asked me, what, what do you think we should change? What do you think we should do? And I said, the one thing, I want to bring a little bit of Dublin to the event, if I can be kind of Irish about it. I, I and, think we all appreciate that. And what I'd like to do is, I'd like something to happen off the felt, off the tables, yep. to create an area or a time frame where people can come, mix with people who, not everybody's here playing poker, some people are here supporting people, let everybody, poker players, friends, family, whoever is here, give them an opportunity to go somewhere where we can all be together, we know what's happening, a definite time each and every night. So the plan we've come up with is from the Monday to the Saturday evening. That's from tonight. From tonight, from the Monday to the Saturday evening, from 10 p.m. That's the uh, poker till 3 a.m. in the morning. Ut på natta. We are going to put on a different show each and every night. Different show every single night? Every single night. We're going to have something that's fun, something that's interactive, uh -huh. and something that will bring us all back together in the lounge and have just have a fun experience. And obviously we're in a beautiful city here in Bratislava. If people are going into town or they're going for a drink or they want to play poker or whatever they want to do, no problem whatsoever. No. But I think what we were missing slightly last year yeah. was that social aspect where we could all get together in an evening time and whether just to have a chat with your friends or whether you want to get involved in our shows in the interactive, it, we needed that opportunity brought to the event. But that's not going to happen down here. The players and the wags. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Might be> one. <laughs> Wives and girlfriends. Yes. And hanger, hangers around and wannabes and... Friends. Friends. Yes. And extended yes. family. Yes, yes, yes. They're not here. No. This is not a... Uh, party it's a friendly atmosphere yes. for a poker room yep. absolutely there's not this is not the heart and soul of a party and and it never should be no these people everybody plays poker at a different level we know we're poker yeah. players also everybody plays poker at a different level if you're very much a recreational poker player or if you're a mid poker player or if you're one of the top end professionals Everybody should be left alone at a poker table to play poker uninterrupted, be as comfortable as they can. We never want to change that. Sometimes we do change that <laughs> slightly, but that's a different story. An absolute different story. So we've agreed here with the venue that on the top floor, here in the venue, 
we have a fantastic opportunity up there. They have a stage area, they have a lighting area. It's basically an entertainment floor. Oh. So we have agreed with the venue that we're going to take over this each and every night to put on six different shows over the next few nights. And after that, we're going to put on some music. We have a lovely lady who's joined us for the event this year. She's a Norwegian DJ. Chops. Uh, Chops is here. Yes. So Chop is going to be on the mix. <laughs> And she's going to, when we finish our part of the interactive show, she's then going to take over and she's going to create a, a playlist where people can send her a message if oh. they want their own songs and stuff like this. So we're making it very, very user-friendly upstairs. So uh, is there any way you can kind of flood that message board with a wish list of songs so we can have an Irish theme night? We could do. Of we course could. we could. Of course. Danny Boy? No, but you have to remember. We had an Irish team night. Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. Yep, I wore and green you, and the hat I and saw everything. the whole thing. JP was here with his hat. Even our fantastic uh, main man here. Yeah, He was Sean. dressed in, Sean was dressed in the green. I have an even better thing that happened yesterday. Can I tell you about it? Yes, please. No, this is a great thing that happened yesterday. I met a guy who I hadn't seen for nearly a year. Yeah. And he paid me. What? It he was you. T- oh, it was you. That, that's right, that's this, true. This man owed me 20 euro for a, a year, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. And let me tell you, in Norway, I have some very, very close Albanian friends. Yeah. If I didn't get this 20 euro this year, they were going to be making a phone call first. <laughs> and the phone call would have been, Licky Till. You would have got this phone call, and they were coming collecting. Okay. I'm so glad you and gave me the And then I 20. would not be, my knees would be hurting. You're a very tall, handsome man. You wouldn't be so tall anymore. <laughs> no. Thank you I'm for the 20. I'm so glad that thank I didn't know, but thank you for telling me. No in, problem. You know. No problem. All sorted. All sorted. Upstairs? Upstairs. Top level. Can I bring you up? Yes. Can I give I want, you a little I walk see, around? I want to see Let where me. the magic is going to happen. It's going to be a fantastic night. Each and every night is going to be different. Most important thing is opportunity for players, for family, for friends to go somewhere, interact, talk, chill out, get involved, be fantastic. And if you don't have friends, family, wife or a girlfriend, you might get lucky and get some new ones. We could help with girlfriend or possibly a wife of the future creating a family boyfriend. upstairs whatever new boyfriend, friends girlfriend. new friends okay let's or maybe go. some friends with benefits i'm open for any possibility so i heard <laughs> let's go <laughs> let's go up here. okay this is the way to go let's go up we go only the four flights let's go come on phil yep did you say top level yeah there's only eight flights of stairs that's all is there a lift? Oh, there is. We go on the lift? We go on the lift. Okay. Too many stairs. My doctor says I need more cardiovascular, but we go on the lift. Oh, we got lucky. It's here. Let's go. Here it is. Oh, it's open. Let's go. Paddy's day is So It's a long walk, wasn't it? What could it be? I used to save myself from a cardiac arrest. It's okay, I'd love to give you a mouth to Ooh, can we do the stairs down? Good. So Phil. Here we are. This is where the magic is gonna happen. Mm-hmm. So this is our entertainment lounge. Yep. That's been given to us graciously by the casino. We have a whole floor. A whole floor, a whole nice. floor we can avail of. That's still a restaurant area, is it? They have a beautiful uh, uh, restaurant over here that's open in the evening times uh, for any of the customers who, although they have the other restaurant in the the back. The canteen thing that's open for all the players. Food is great, all fantastic for players, but sometimes people want just something a little level above. Yeah, some people, you know, probably one on the slots. Correct. And they want to make everybody happy amongst Mm -hmm. their group. Mm -hmm. So we have a beautiful restaurant over here that's open in the evening times. Um, over there's here, a bar. There's a beautiful bar there. That's our cabaret bar. So this is known as a cabaret lounge. Cabaret lounge. It's a cabaret lounge that the uh, hosts would put on shows periodically here in, in Bratislava. But while it's here, why not take advantage of it for the championship? I think nice, it'll work. Nice. I'll definitely work out. And here we have a huge seating area, lounge area where people can chill, have a table full of friends. Exactly. I heard rumours that there was a football match on the other night. There was a fantastic match on and yesterday. I 
If I'm correct, you and JP mm -hmm. are oppo fans of opposite teams. One is Liverpool, one is Manchester United. Like, Liverpool fans are, for, for, for a team that won one Premiership, they're very cocky about things. JP is probably the cockiest of them all. He came here yesterday in his professional suit to do a job downstairs, and then an hour later I see him with the Liverpool top on. I am an avid Manchester United supporter. Now, unlike JP, I've supported Man United all my life. I, I didn't wait till they became successful again mm -hmm. after many, many years to in jump the on board, in the darkness to jump on board again. So what happened here yesterday was we had Manchester United versus Liverpool in the FA Cup. In the FA Cup, going for that four title win this year. For for them to lose that chance, for them to lose the chance to win the FA Cup, which is probably the easiest thing they have to achieve. Because everybody's looking yep. down on Man United at the moment about this that and the other. So JP was here, he was very confident, very cocky that Liverpool were gonna win. Every time Liverpool took the lead, he started singing songs about some tournament they won European Championship or something. Cup they won a few years ago, being 3 0 down. He started singing songs and he became very boisterous and loud. But then the great Man United came back. The pride was restored yesterday. Fantastic game to watch if you're a neutral, but to see JP sit here, crumble in his chair and cry was a beautiful thing. Yeah. So that was kind of more important than the football game itself. So much more important okay. to see him yeah. be absolutely destroyed. To the Norwegian, so many of those Gaelic and Celtic names, yes. we mix them up. That's okay. Have you ever met a Norwegian trying to speak Irish or Scottish? It's usually a mix. Okay, well, it's a Celtic language. Yeah. Because we're all Celts. Scottish okay. and Irish, we are all... Do you but know what that... about the Gaelics? What, what does the Gaelic? Well, it, I mean, it, 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 it's a Gaelic... Oh, Scotland was racially founded by Irish people emigrating to Scotland okay. because it was too cold for the English. So only the Irish could go there. There was so much... It even... It rains more in Scotland than Ireland, and that's incredible. That's quite a... That's a feat. So that's that's why we went over. Okay. okay. But that's enough about Irish history, I think. Enough Irish history, <laughs> enough football. But okay. there will be football matches on the big screens here when there's interesting stuff happening during the week. Absolutely. We're going to have any big sporting, anything, any big sports that's happening 24-7, we can put on the big screen here. Fantastic big screen. We have a great system over here, sound system that travels through the entire room. So anything to do with any kind of sports, we have the arena here to watch the sports 24-7. Great. Lounge area, I think that's Chops, if I'm not That is Chops, mistaken. I think. And the beer pong yes. is already set. Yep, the beer pong is going to be one part of our six nights. I know it's beer pong has become, I think, in all poker tournaments around the world, has become one of the mainstays of all poker tournaments when it comes to an entertaining night. Yeah. We've made it a little more, we made it a little more PC, so we have it around here. So as you can see, our beautiful tables are here, uh, brought to us by our hosts. Yeah. The beer pong cups are in place. Yeah. We, we can also, we can change it. That's, so if you're a teetotaler, you don't drink you beer. You can drink uh, water pong. Water. water pong can go in there, and then what you can do is you can put the water in there if you want to, and then you can have the beer shot over here on the right-hand side, only a snippet of the beer, mm -hmm. and that's going to be your forfeit if the opposition You can also score. do non-alcoholic beer. If of you're course you could. Teetotal. Zero zeros, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, but the one thing that I need to say about beer pong, I, play, I, I played here last year. Mm -hmm. We were up against uh, two young ladies that had had a few drinks. As you do. Yeah. And they were not, you know, they were not ball players, to put it that way. They, okay. they were not the natural, they were, they're never going to be able to, to dominate darts. Gotcha, gotcha. My problem mm -hmm. was that my teammate Yes. That's been telling me for years and years and years that, oh, beer pong, I'm fucking fantastic. He lives in New York. Okay. And he claims that, you know, if I didn't invent gotcha. beer pong. Gotcha. I think pong, I know who we're talking about here. It was made for me. Okay. You know the guy. I do. Uh, when you stand here and you're supposed to hit, I think you're supposed to hit one the bounce. table, one bounce in and the, in, in a the, cup. Yes. When you can't even hit the table and you bounce on the floor <laughs> not once yes but more like the rule okay maybe he's maybe he's not used to handling these type of balls maybe they're too small too <laughs> maybe, hard yes he might be more used to handling a different type the of the thing balls. is that i think it's if you want to win you, you can play beer pong just for the fun of it yes but if you want to win yes or if you hate to lose Pick your teammate. He, he, you, you know, you need to pick your right teammate. Mathis, let me tell you this. He played poker with you. 
he probably knew you're a natural sports guy, you're going to be good. He yeah. sold himself to you. Yeah, that's How true. good he was going to be because he knew he was not good. Yeah. So he said, I'm going to get a good partner here. I'm going to tell him how good I am at beer pong. And you fell for it. There's only I one person to block. blame. There's only one person to blame here. You. It's the man in the mirror. You should have got him over and seen how good he was before you said yes yeah, or no. Yeah, it's, it's my... It's, I feel bad about that. Don't hate the player, hate the game. But I don't hate beer pong. I think it's good fun. No, it is great fun. It's great fun. So it's going to be beer pong night, it's going to be uh, sports, it's going to be uh, chops doing the music. And then we're going to change the nights. So some of the nights it will really suit us. We have a big screen here, so some of the nights we have a fantastic, we got crazy, we've got a crazy karaoke night where we're going to get Karaoke some, night! We're going to yeah. have some high-end players come up, we have them all listed, they have their songs, they have all the stuff they want to do. We're not looking for good singers, we're looking for natural performers. Entertainers. Entertainers with charisma. Oh, so you're going to be on stage. Well, I'll be helping, that's all I can say. <laughs> but I'm so good, I'm the best karaoke host in the world. Do you know why? Because you let the singers shine. Even better. When I sing first, and I you say do it this really night, badly I'm so that everyone else is going to be great. When I sing, everybody who comes on after me thinks they're Tom Jones, Ooh. because I'm so average. If you've got a fantastic singer as your host, as your compare, people are saying, oh, "I yeah, ain't getting yeah, up yeah, after yeah, that yeah. guy." That's right, that's but right, I get up there and I'm terrible. They say, "Give me the mic. I'll get up there." But crazy karaoke is going to be so much more than just what singing. What night is karaoke night? We have very carefully made this one of the later nights Ooh. okay it's going to happen later much closer to the saturday the, yeah friday i think it's going to be on a friday Thursday, night friday i think it's friday and then we're going to have everybody here yep uh, already the guys who ha are helping me here uh, get everything involved uh, they have already got a list of names of people who want to perform already so this is going to be so good can i so fun. sign myself up you are going to we're going to have you there and i'm going to be really nice to you i'm going to get you up a little later rather than earlier because everybody sounds better a little bit later and I'm sure you're a fantastic uh, singer. No, I'm, well, uh, not to brag, but uh, I, used to, I used to have a big name in Africa as the karaoke king and this is no joke, this is true. <laughs> Maybe you meant something and you, different And you were talking Africans. Tom Jones? <laughs> it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Can I ask you a question? Yep. Have you any change in your pocket? Nope. Because you haven't got a note in your head. <coughs> oh, <laughs> the cheap jokes keep on coming all week. All week. So this is going to be, so when we have certain lights, like the karaoke night, we're going to be on stage. Yep. But the other nights, if we can swing you guys back around here, yeah. the other nights, the likes of the beer pong, uh, we've got cornhole, which is a fantastic game. I love cornhole. Is that it's got two big boxes down either end of the room. Uh -huh. You get like, you get a sandbag. Yeah. And it's basically, you have to launch the bag into the air. You've got to get it in the hole. It's best of three for each person Ooh. that participates. A fun game, really fun game. Yeah. You can knock people's bags off the side, so it's a really fun nice. game. So the likes of the beer pong, the likes of the cornhole. We're going to create a different little arena here to keep everything very comfortable to yep. keep the atmosphere. Yep. If you can keep everybody together watching it and make a little arena, it's going to make it more fun for everybody. Obviously, stuff like karaoke night and stuff like that, we've got to use the stage. It's there, yeah. we've got to use it. But the great thing about this venue here, there are so many opportunities, so many possibilities that we can facilitate here. The guys have, we have a great system in here, sound system, so it goes right through the whole room. Uh, we'll have the guys helping us out, getting everything prepared each and every night. Every single day, I'm going to come down to the venue here on the top floor and we're going to change the seating areas to facilitate whatever show we want on each and every night. I'm really excited about what we're going to do. I, I'm excited about what, what you're going to do and I'm lo really looking forward to come here every night just to, when the broadcast is over, when the tournament is over. I'm going to just come up here and chill and find all my poker friends and you and have a good time. Well, this is what we want. This is what we want everybody. We want them to come along. But for me, the highlight of this whole week, for me, the highlight of this whole week, I've been waiting, I've been waiting a year to get this 20 euro back. And it was more, it was more, 
it remember it was actually 10 euros it's a hundred percent interest and you're getting away lightly it's a year i had to wait for this money i so didn't even remember i, I didn't it remember you. it but i but, borrowed it from yeah, you i just i blanked it on my mind it was so upsetting i blanked it out of my mind <laughs> But I got this back, so it's a win-win now. It's like me winning, it's like me winning the World Series. I know Norway has experienced that recently. Yeah. But it's like me, this is an Irish World Series winner now. 20 euros from this man. He's well worth it.